Oh, 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 oh
No, I had a short back and sides. Did you? Yeah. Oh. oh, I thought you might have rocked a mullet when you came out of the army. Navy, RAF. What? Yeah, RAF, that one. My own model works. <laughs> I can see him shaking his head into gear. How you doing, Kevin and Jackie? Is the man shed all sorted yet? Because, yeah, Kevin's been building a nice big yeah. man shed. Yeah, has, has it all done? Have you moved in? I think he's been out and about and having a looky Lou. Lewis is saying he's okay. How are you holding up to uh, Mike Mountain? That's Dave saying hello to every one of you. Um, and he's going motoring along, Lewis. Nothing else for it, really. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Mayhem saying uh, into the radio 15 minutes till showtime. Stage hands get props in place and mic checks done. Someone get the M&Ms in the green room and will someone get the damn coffee on? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something. He, he ain't far wrong there, He's not Dave, is he? <laughs> No, yeah, he's a bit of a bit of a rush when I get in. Yeah, Graham at Robertson. Hiya, Graham. Hope you're doing all right. And Hiya, love Graham. the old Spitfire, mate. You're doing a top grand job there, mate. Sue's dishing out the love arts. Hello, Colin and Dave. I'll keep an eye on them because Dad's in and he probably got more. <clears throat> Lewis said hello to Graham. Sue's in saying hi, everyone. Please say that the postman's been, please. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> Model making truck is saying hello to Sue. <coughs> Sue saying hello back to Lewis. Jacqueline saying hello to Sue. Graham saying hi. Still trying to find a way of getting that for you. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's to Lewis. Uh, that was me tentatively asking whether there was any post to the ladies. And Jacqueline hasn't had hers yet. <gasps> oh, dear. <clears throat> oh, dear. Oh, and am I, am I right? Oh, <clears throat> am I right that Mike got more hearts than yeah, we did, yeah. Dave? Yeah. Wrong, and, man. oh, dear, I've just it's spotted it. Point. Sue's going, oh, dear, Jackie, and she's laughing. That must mean Sue's had a post delivery. That's wrong as well. She's going to be intolerable tonight then, Jackie. So beware, my darling. I'm on your side. Mm. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Lewis, you say got two troublemakers in Sue and Jacqueline. Oh, yeah, the Anadin sisters, Lewis. Oh, when they get going, mate. Uh, and Sue say, no, that's just Jackie. Yeah, little Miss Innocent. No. Yeah. Uh, Lewis is saying that's not what I've been seeing. Uh, model maker truckers going, Andy, one of the well behaved ones now. Uh, Graham, uh, Graham McRoberts asking, who has the go to jail cards then today? Yeah, don't go past go and don't collect 200 quid. I mean, you know, I'm making a bold decision giving Dave buttons here. <laughs> Graham says Andy got two kits today. What did we get, Graham? Tell us. Tell, tell, tell. Do tell. Oh, yeah. We want all the glorious plastic details. Andy's going, what did you get, Graham? Yeah, come on. Come on, details. <laughs> I'll just see what's come up on there. <laughs> Sue saying, oh, Mike, my hero. Oh, God. Oh, oh dear. Uh, Archie's in saying, do not insult the RF by calling it Army Navy, Colin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Paul's in, Plastic Monkey. Hi, all. Hello, Hi, Paul. You all right, mate? Lewis is dishing out the kisses and the love arts, even. Uh, here you go, Colin. Thank you, Lewis. That meant a lot, mate. Little bits of me uh, went all happy, and there's some for Dave as well. Osric 9000's in. Hello, Hello Osric. How you doing? Um, so saying I'm a cheeky shot as uh, she always behaves. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> and she's also saying hi to Osric. And Andy is saying all this romance. Oh, where's me Where bucket? Absolutely, mate. So, how's, how, how, 
I've uh, things been up. Well, I'm just putting my webcam back up because it fell. It's fell off, <laughs> and that's the one I used to do the bench shot with. So I'm, oh, just, yeah. I'm just putting it back on there for a minute in the hope that I can set it back up in a mo. Uh, I'm unstuck, did it? Yeah, yeah, it's because I haven't swapped all my things around because I kind of got me days wrong and I thought today was Tuesday and I was sat here beavering away doing stuff and I'm like, why's my why's my alarm gone off? You go live in 30 minutes. I'm like, that's why it's gone off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Muse is in. Hello, Muse. All right, darling. Uh, I'm just going to put my video camera on here. What have you been up to this week so far then, Dave? Um, Monday was a day of rest. I just put my feet up and did as little as possible for as long as possible. Yeah. Although, bearing in mind, Monday was was payday. I, I, might, have, I might have made a purchase. Oh, good man. Or two or three or four or five. <laughs> oh you've been making lots of purchases again well yes good I man have, um what did you I get had, I, I, well, um i've got some bits and pieces because i'm going to have a go at the seat build that they're going to do over on the model officer next year all oh, right yeah I saw someone's video of a apocalyptic, he says very carefully, kind of mobile home. And it's given me ideas to take it one or two stages further than what he's done it with it and use a little bit more imagination. Do you, uh, does this require soaring? Will the saw make its presence known? Multiple sawing. Oh. Powered grinding. Oh. Aperture extractions. Oh, that sounded painful, mate. Oh, that is that is that <laughs> gonna make your eyes water? Aperture extractions. Uh, well it might be if I don't use any um <coughs> anesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Toe curling session. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I, I've ordered some bits and pieces. Yeah. It's all going to be based on one of, you know, the Russian six-wheel lorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a container that you can get from the Cagliari. Yeah. A few bits and pieces that will make up lorry cargo. And I've found somewhere that you can get 35th scale barbed wire. Oh, so I've ordered two lots of that, so that'll be four meters of barbed wire. Oh, sweet, mate! Look um, forward to that. I'm looking forward to it. I think, if I remember rightly, James said it kicks off beginning of January. Oh, cool, mate! Sounds interesting. It goes all the way through till November, so I've got plenty of time, especially at my build speed. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for that, mate. Look forward to seeing that. Happy days, mate. Yeah, because it, it, he's the, it's um it's either steampunk. You can do something steampunk, which might be up your street. Yeah, I mean, it's first I've heard of it, mate. I've not really been paying attention much of I lately, and yeah, I need to up my game a bit. Or you can do an apocalyptic. He says carefully again. Yeah kind of vehicle and i've seen this and thought hmm, he's he's got a good few things there but he's kind of missed the boat on a few others not yeah who's, who's, who's um whose group was that on was that james's you said yeah it was yeah james. i'll have a looky look at that he announced it the other weekend i think yeah, you know, I'm like, I'm a goldfish, mate. This is the bloke, don't forget, who forgot he was supposed to do a Friday live show with you last Friday, you know, so, yeah. Remember. Useless, mate. You know, it's like you say to me, Cole, have you done that or have you got that? And I'm like, yeah. Well, I, I was sat there and I thought, I know we spoke about doing something on Friday, but <laughs> we didn't really get to anything 
particularly concrete as to what we was going to do. Yeah. And I thought, well, I'll, I'll double check to see if there's a thumbnail gone up. And you hadn't put a thumbnail. And I thought, hmm, okay. And then I looked on Facebook and you hadn't been, you'd been inactive for about five or six hours. And I thought, ah, he's yeah. a special cup of tea. Oh, yeah, I was. Because I thought it was actually this Friday, see, so I was like <laughs> quite proud to, of myself. <laughs> yeah, I think I think you got I think you got to about ten hours, and I thought I'll give up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. His eyelids are firmly stapled shut. I was in the land that snored them, mate. Ah, uh, that, well, that's what I thought, and I thought, oh uh, well. I know we spoke about it, but that was about as far as we got. Yeah, we ne didn't set anything in stone. What we need to do when we come off air is we'll I'll punch the days that you're next off in me, on on my phone, uh, and then it will flag up the day before, and I can sort everything out so that we can uh, sort well, that out. I've not got anything off now until we finish for Christmas. Yeah, because we're going to be doing something over Crimbo anyway, ain't we? So yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we can let everyone tune <coughs> tune in for that. So yeah. So other than that, I I had oh I've had a circle about with my dragon. I have now started painting the dragon. Oh yeah 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 sorry mate mm -hmm. yeah and and mm, the front end's better than the rear end if that without trying to be rude or anything but don't be like dave that sounded really wrong and i will punish him severely when we leave the show today uh, so the rear end's going to get a, a fresh coat of primer put over it to cover up what i thought was looking okay until i had another idea about doing something else yeah because a certain person said why don't you use yellow as a base coat and I've tried that with a different colour on top. And it yeah. Good. Archie's asking, has anyone got any ideas what he could do with a battered, unfinished Sopworth? Uh, could be crashed, mate, couldn't it? You know, you could do yourself a little crash diorama where it's planted itself into a field a bit and, yeah, you know. Um, gone in, nose up. Yeah. Nose down. Um, Actually, it'd be a nice dio, that. You could, if... If you're going to do a dio with some bushes in it, you could have it as if the nose has gone through the, the part, part way through the bush and the, the wings are starting to come off. Absolutely. There's a, a multitude of things. Multitude, um, Dave. Cool. Grips bench. There's um, quite a few options. Best thing to do, Arch, uh, on a serious note, is type it into Google, Sopwith crashed. Um, Paul, have a look at some of the photos that you get back, and if something stimulates your mind and you think, oh, that's that's interesting, and that might just give you the beginnings of an idea, that's all I do. I'll just type in sort of what I'm building and perhaps what I'm after achieving and put them two words together in a Google search, and I see what comes up. And if something stimulates me enough to click on the image, then that's the direction I need to go in, and it just sows a seed in me canister. Uh, he's also asking if I've got a bad throat. No, I, um, as part of my condition, sometimes my Adam's apple gets a bit stuck or I swallow and the swallow gets stuck, if that makes sense. And it, <clears throat> you've just got to clear your throat. So apologies if it bugs you, mate, but uh, I can't help it. Just out of thought, he could get the sore out. What I was thinking, you know, because it's a sop of camel, that's the biplane, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so, you know, it could get a bit of the old going on. If he didn't want to go for the saw, he could use a scribe. Yeah, scribe some dicks and dents and bits of broken wing. and Oh, you could have a field day with it, Arch. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's definitely worth a Google search, mate. Mm. Uh, I'm sure I saw Shane Young's in. Hello, he says, afternoon. Colin, Dave and everyone else, hope you are well. Hope you're well, Shane, and love to you and Glynis. Hope you're both doing well, mate. Thank you for popping in. Plastic Monkey saying, put some wheels on it and make it look like a Mad Max vehicle. Because Paul done the BF-109, didn't he, with a big old fat... I don't know what that was. Fat tyres. Why'd I do that? I've no idea, but I was just thinking steampunk. Yeah, proper, you know, ye olde stuffy. 
Ooh. Have a you could have a look in your um Greebles box. Yeah. Uh, Lewis has got a good one. He says you can do it as being shot down and falling out the sky, giving it the old <laughs> with the old chuffer, chuffer, chuffer smoke coming out of it. There you go. See, we're a mind of useless information. Modelers United's in Fred. He says his belly's full on my phone at the moment until I get in the cave. Good man. That leads to. Um, Dave's question, Willie, but I've got Willie. one first, Dave. I've got an announcement. Got it. This one will shock you. you won Breaking news, says Archie. I don't have a saw. <laughs> Hashtag saw for Archie. He's got a ring to it, hasn't it? Archie, you need a saw, mate. Get yourself a modelling saw. Yeah, get, give him something to get his teeth into, won't he? <laughs> that's all oh, that stone <laughs> uh, Archie's saying that's a cool idea plastic monkey it is uh, Paul um, post, a, post another picture of your um, BF109 up in the Festers group so old Archie can have a look, little looky loo mate and uh, I'm sure he'll uh, enjoy doing that I look forward to seeing that Arch actually and um, model making truck has got a brilliant one. He says, "Can we ban Archie until he gets a saw?" I saw what you was doing there, Lewis. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but is he going to get a tenon saw, or is he going to get a rip saw? Yeah, he's got, oh, he's got to get some modelling saws, mate. Oh, mate. Yeah. Right, I think we need to get on with our bench cams, hold, don't hold, we? Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. You was going to do a special announcement. Was I? Yes. Which was? I've no idea, because you said it was a special announcement. Oh, yeah, that was Archie's special announcement, because he hasn't got a saw, Dave. Oh, I thought you had some breaking news that you was going to drop. I've forgotten. Oh, okay, then. Yeah, there was something, wasn't there? And I can't remember what it was. It's gone, mate. I'll tell, hold you, I'm not a goldfish, you know. We was only talking about that before we went live, weren't we? And I was going to do my question, and, and, and you said, I'll, I'm, I'll do my announcement. And I thought, OK, I'll, I'll sit back and... and, and um... Oh, what was it? Well, why, why were you all thinking of it? Yeah, I'm confused. I thought totally and I'm sorry, Dave. I forgot. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting worse. <laughs> yeah, there was something, wasn't there? I was looking forward to it and all, and I can't remember what it was. He anyway. says looking around. Anyway, not to worry. Anyway, <clears throat> Colin tries to find his marbles and everything else, but he's now thrown across the floor. I will simply say to all you good people, what is or what is about to go in your bellies and what's on the bench absolutely muse you're a darling cole is the news about the gundam it is yeah i am i think they've seen it. but if they haven't they haven't but yeah i am going to be starting that bad boy imminently and oh, the other way. oh no, it's, it is right way up. Sorry. Yeah, it's the right way up because the writing's there. I know. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, see, that's the figure, he says. And that's his wingage and stuff. Wingage. But yeah, that's imminently going to get started. And yes, I am going to light it. I've had a little looky look at the sprues. It's going to be a bind. I'm going to light it up with little LEDs in the things, and then I'm going to be scribing additional panel lines and all of that as well. So that is going to be starting filming, hopefully, next week. I've just got a few other bits that I want to finish. I want to put final touches on Harley Quinn and, and get them sent, and then I have, I've got a clear bench then. So, yeah. 
I'm going to go. I'm pressing the button. Yeah, you go for it, mate, because I'm I'm just going to switch cameras because I need to check that my Fred other cameras. Having lamb chops in mint sauce. Oh, lamb chops and mint sauce. Oh. What are you talking about? Ah. There you go. Lewis has got um, fish pie in the belly. And he's got Warhammer scenery. Mm. Oh, happy days. Um, Mayhem Model Works is... Belly is either burgers and chips or venison grilled steaks, roast veg, mash, or spaghetti meatballs. Oh, mint. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, you're getting really professional, this buttoning, aren't you, you guys? Um, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> Dave's confused. I'm used to looking at the other one. Oh, Wibblekins. EC Idaho, there you go. Says, oh, nice, the Kshatriya. Going to do a build series? Yes, I am, mate. It's going to be a full build series start to finish, mate. Uh, oh, nice light. Sweet man, watch Gundam Unicorn to see it in action. Yes, I, I got full reward and girly brownie points off of Fox because I watched a bit of Unicorn Gundam just to see what it does and how it moves and... How it sort of posed. I don't know why I'm doing the impression because you can only see me back, uh, but yeah, I've had a look at how it sort of does all its arms and I <laughs> know I'm up here looking, right? and uh, yeah, so it's inspired that, but I am still not a hundred percent certain on the color scheme I'm going to go for. So I need to have a couple of bits of it sat on me bench and see what shouts at me. I think it's supposed to be green. I'm tempted to do it a bit like the Huey Dave, where I did the pre-shading underneath and have it faded, military colour greens, and that. I don't know. Or do I go for the um, sort of mecha style yellow with white accents and brown weathering and rusticles and shizzle? So I don't know. Or I could do it Fifty Shades of Red. You know. I, can see someone nodding in the background going, oh, yeah, red. Mm. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm not sure which way to go, mate. Mike's got Burger King. And on the bench, he's got his drag nut. Yes. Yeah. yes. Right. I'm, I'm going to do a quick camera change. Yeah, no worries, mate. No problemo. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look, see who else has popped in. Uh, model making trucker, I don't know if you've done that one. He's got fish pie and a piece of war hammer yeah. scenery. Yeah, done that one. I wasn't paying attention, was I, Dave? Um, yeah, no worries. Uh, you change your camera, I'll carry on. Yeah, yeah. Mayhem model works, EC Idaho, he says he's got a 1 100th uh, MG Z Zaku 144th SD I knew Gundam and a 144 reverse Gundam tank cannon thing for build fighters. You can tell I don't remember the name of it, he says to build. <laughs> yeah, I've had a look at a few of them and I might even be tempted at some point to do a, a really sort of uh, perfect grade one, you know, go go the whole hog and do a all singing, all dancing, perfect grade. Uh, Ross Medlock, belly whatever the uh, wench decides to cook. <laughs> Bench Ooh, is bags of Sigma Knight, Osiris, Mausoleum, Walls, Encrypt, Chaos, Space Marine, Vanguard, Squad, and Warhammer, Razorback. Get in there. Sounds... Busy and complicated. Uh, Colin, he says, says EC, do a, yeah, do a new colour scheme. Those colours sound awesome. So, yeah, red is a solid mobile suit colour. So I'm not 100% really sure which way to go with it, EC. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, like I say, I'm doing the Chinook as a US Army sort of light greens and that, but with 
pre-shading behind it just to show all the different panel lines and i don't know whether to do it as like a u.s army mecca or i don't know it's got a, a feel to it but i don't know whether that will be <sighs> i don't really know what to su suggest really yeah i don't know whether it'll work or not or whether i should just go the whole hog and do like the yellows with the brown rust and oil stains and streaking grime and, and faded white numbers a bit like the haloed stuff uh, mecha yeah. stuff so i don't gonna, know so you gonna or are you gonna go down the route of it's just come back from a heavy firefight that sort of thing exactly and it's going off to be repaired because it's got damage and, and the shizzle so i really i'm yeah i it's one of them you know like i do with a car if i'm not sure of the color i put the body shell on the bench don't i until something shouts at me and i'm gonna have to do that shane saying hello to mike ec saying hello mike many gumpler need to build zaku gunner as well uh Da, 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 da. Yeah, Mayhem saying you should do a perfect grade Zaku. Okay, mate, send me a link and I'll have a looky loo. Uh, EC hired a host saying, Colin, let the muse guide you. Uh, has Muse put a comment up on colour issue? Let's have a look. I'll just scroll him back up, mate. Dum, 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 dum. She says she's about to go to get her coffee and do laundry. Bench has one less mini on it. I'm not seeing anything other than that at the moment. So, yeah, but definitely uh, colours are things I need to think about because, yeah, got to be done. Mm. Uh, Modelers United, he says he can read the chat now. Fox is saying it's number wang. Number wang. Uh, May am saying the 1100 of MG Zarco is going to be in various shades of black stroke red. Oh, yeah. Fox has come in just at the right time when we was having a in-depth Gundam chat, Fox. And mm. it yeah, it can be done. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Fox, late for our um, Gundam discussion. Absolutely, mate. Uh, well, I folks. Think, I don't think you can be forgiven for that. No. <laughs> so what did we get up to? I did all the little squiffy stuff underneath last week. Uh, he's had a prime. I put black primer down because I'm going to shoot over this with white, but do it in the panels so that you end up with a reverse pre-shade so yeah. got that to do because my gray primer went a bit manky so yeah, i had to spray it in white it went a bit um pizza. scuzzy yeah and i've painted the first bit of the nose i've got to do the inside of that but i'm going to be doing all the little wheels and shizzle today, all the little fiddly stuff that hangs about underneath so that I can get that sprayed. And I can also add the rails that go along the outside of the fuselage. So that's what I'm going to be doing, Dave. Um, the fiddly I'm stuff. Going to carry on doing some of the internals. Good man. I might put some might put the windows in <laughs> fox says yeah he knows uh i was doing the gundam he said because he felt a disturbance in the farce uh i mean force yeah i know quite 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 proud of myself dave we do these things every now and then don't we mate yeah uh, might be saying that his pc has crashed Oh dear. Yeah, he's gone for a reboot. But it looks yeah, like no, no, that's not a problem. I don't know why I'm answering him because his PC's crashed and he can't hear me. <sighs> don't be like Fester. <sighs> so we've got all the fiddly bits to put on the old chin up today. 
Uh, model making guru saying, I hope you recover quickly to Munchkin model model man. Oh, not well, mate. Oh, no, no. Okay. He's making great progress, apparently. Oh, mate, I'm sorry to hear you've been unwell, fella. He's getting over COVID pneumonia. Yeah, Ooh. definitely. Yeah, um, you take it easy, mate, because there are a lot of people out there that doubt all of this that's been going on. And all I say to them is um, get a grip because a dear friend of mine lost his wife to it. So it is real. So, yeah, don't be dull. Is all I'm going to say on that one because it is a thing. Right, have a look at you know, at that. This is where I twitch any second now and I drop it. I know it's going to happen. <laughs> if it does, uh, yeah, there'll be lamekins. Bouncing lamekins or just lamekins? Just lamekins. Oh. Yeah, put the glue in the right place, Carl. Don't worry about whether the primer gets uh, a bit good, because I've got to do the rest of the stuff anyway. A resounding ping says that our, our chat man's back. All right, mate. Yeah, was you pressing buttons? <laughs> Not guilty. No, you've done well, mate. I am mightily proud of you, Dave. I have been pressed many buttons today. I know, but it's something that was on the mind, and it was like, yeah, let's give it a try. So it works. It's worked quite well, hasn't it? I don't think it, it's worked. Everyone in the show today, Fox, has the buttons. It's a thing that I'm trying out on StreamYard today, and they've all got full button control. <gasps> yeah. Or possibly if it, could if go it wrong. Deep, Tom, then, then, then it's my fault. Yeah. What possibly could go wrong? Depends on what button they press at the time. <laughs> yeah. Buttonage is good. Okay, we've got a bit of that going on under there. Got my eyesight's getting bad. Uh, have you a bit of that? Uh, round about there. This is where it falls off. Happy days, because I need to look at the box, because I ain't 100% sure which way round it is. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I am right then. So it's got a bit of tilty, tilty going on. Bit of tilty, tilty. Yeah, a bit of tiltage, Dave. A bit of tiltage. Can't be a bit of tiltage, mate. Exactly. Uh, have a look who low. Yeah, pins at the top. That's that one. Ah. Uh. What? <laughs> Mike, Mike, I'm going to stitch Mike up. Mike's been naughty again. Oh, is he? Mm. Oh, dear. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. yeah. He's bad, man. Testing, <laughs> testing, testing, he says. One, two, three. Thank you, Dad, very much. You're going to pop it on the screen, dude. I am. I wonder what I'm going to try to. Uh, Dad's got buttons as well, isn't he? Boom, there you go. Thank you very much to Scaly Models, who's put a super chat in. Bless him. Thank you very much, Dad. Much appreciated. He's uh, chat dolly in the background for us today. And uh, yeah. now I know why he wanted buttons. <laughs> He's bad. He is, but thank you. It means a lot. And uh, yeah, he's on a mission. Bless him. 
Good to see you back and about, mate. Missed you. Yeah. Have you some of that? Uh, what can I rest the uh, thing on there? I've got a strategically placed pot of something. Uh, 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 let's move that under there. And I'll sling that on there like that. Uh, there you go. Can say round two has some good stuff on the way, plus that. Ooh. Oh. Sounds interesting. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. A hello to Twisted Rail Hobbies. Hello, mm. mate. Oh. Hello, Eric. Hope you're doing all right, mate. Uh, number 44. Yeah. Happy birthday to Cassandra as well. It was her birthday the other day, wasn't it, Eric? So a belated happy birthday to Cassandra. Happy birthday. Many happy returns. I hope you had a good day. Absolutely. Da, 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 da. You know, I said I was doing all them small bits today. I'm really regretting that decision because they are very small, Dave. Are we talking tiddly teeny tiny? We are talking smaller than small, mate. Oh, heck. Yeah. And I may be struggling to see the numbers, but hey ho. <laughs> Uh, can only work well, can't it, mate? Uh, yeah. So I think I might, I might do some of the bigger small bits. <laughs> the bigger small bit. uh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, there they are. Duh, do first. Mm -hmm. Found them, Dave. Well done. One of them. Now that seems to be a bit of a jaunty angle. Oh. It is as well. Bizarre. Bits and bobs and appendages. That sounded wrong. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, that's right up there, is it? Well, oh, I can think of that one up. Okay, slap it in there. On its arris. Sit, sit on its arris. Oh, it's on the keyboard now. It's not on its arris now, is it? It's fell off. Really? Butt yeah, sticks. There, mate. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I was just having a bit of a fudge sticks and broom handle sesh there, mate, you know. It sounded like you was having a lot of fun. Oh, it's deep joy, Dave. Oh, you sounding? I am, because... Good man. I've, I've put the two fuselage parts together and... Oh, have you found that nice seam that runs down there? I've, I don't know about a seam. <laughs> Got a yeah. Gap. yeah, it's a big old chasm, isn't it? Yeah. It's about as wide as a Grand Canyon. Yeah, welcome to Ravel's <laughs> Banana Chinook. The very special variant that was made. Yeah, it's got a little bit of wonkiness on one 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 side of the fuselage that makes it a bit bit of a challenge. Yeah, it's a bit special, Dave. There you go. Uh, Sergeant Bones is in. Hello, Sarge. Hope you're doing all right, mate, in the wonderful country of Germany. That is our resident army expert, Sergeant Pops. 
hope you and everyone close to you is doing a bit better and that your family member that was struggling with covid is now recovering mate Ooh, yeah because yeah no one wants it no one needs it and hopefully bill they're getting well mate you will stay on there for you again Might be a bit more glue than I anticipated on there, but they are a bit feisty, these bits. Uh, and that's quite close to what bit? That bit. I suppose it's that bit colour, isn't it? There you go. Didn't want that bit of primer on there anyway, so I haven't really painted. Depends on which way you look at it. You can them off at the front end, but not at the back end. You talk to yourself again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he says. <laughs> hmm. uh, that's a clear bit. Okay, then. Is that a clear bit? I think it is. Uh, what about the clear bits? Yeah, I'll do them. I've got my decals ordered for, for this as well. Fine. Oh, right. Brilliant. Yeah, I was going to ask you how you had got on with that, because I know you was considering getting uh, a bespoke set, wasn't you? Yeah. Um, I've got them from Model Hobbies. Right, yeah. Um, just over £6. Pound. Whereas well, that's someone... not bad. Whereas someone on eBay wanted double, and I thought, well, you know what you can do with that idea. Bear Price mind, gouging yeah. again. There's a surprise. Bear, bear in mind he's looking at his post it note. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a point. I forgot to put my uh, disclaimer up, didn't I? Because I've got that thing now with the channel in here where I'm having to... Mm -hmm. Yes, you do a lot, and I meant to put that up on the beginning there. I'll do it for Sunday now, but you've yeah. been doing administrations, yeah, because when yeah, yeah, there's a few little bits and pieces I've had to be doing on the channel and, and just making sure that I'm adhering to the new policies that you, you get, and yeah, so I've got a little bit more still to do on it to, to get it all how they want it, and uh, yeah. It'll get there. So, yeah, I've got that to do. All good fun. It's interesting. It's an exercise, but... So I shall sit and finish that off, and then uh, I'll put the the thing up for Sunday then. It's only a little uh, proviso acknowledgement that, you know, because of copper and mm -hmm. all of that, that, you know, it's not made for uh, children and that there may be some strong language and just to cover us too, so. Just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I need to just sort them bits and bobs out and it, it's only fair that I do it. So, yeah, it's surprising the little bits that you have to tweak, but it makes sense. Shizzle, you will stay there, you get. Have you put your ramp together? Yeah. Did you have a dirty great big gap at the end? Yeah. Okay. Yes, it's um, not the greatest of fits. It may need a bit of, uh, yeah, substance of the goo kind. Uh, 
But uh, yeah. That's, um... It's not very good, is it? No, it's a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, yes, yeah, Sergeant saying, did you know Ravel actually had some great kits, but those are molds bought off other companies. <laughs> uh, Frankie goes to Wobby Woods in. Hello, Frankie. How you doing, mate? Hope everything's okay. Hello, Frankie. Uh, Sarge is saying, yeah, they're doing okay. Wasn't so bad, according to his brother, but the loss of taste made eating boring. I can imagine, mate. <clears throat> ECI Idaho there is saying, many of the Ravel models are special and have a lot of wonkiness to them. Really? Yeah, I think that's a Ravel trait, isn't it? But saying that, I mean, yeah, you know, I know we all joke and we um, we can hate on the models every now and then that they make, but all in all, yeah. I don't think we've done too bad with it. No, not at all. Um, Apparently, there's holes in that for them all to go into, but I can't see a single one. Bar stewards. Uh, but that's all right. I'm not bitter, Dave, at all. Sure? Yeah, I'm very sure. Okay. <laughs> well, I would check just to be on the safe side. Oh, God, they're having a bubble on that, isn't they? Hey, what? That's because it's not them ones, you pillock. Closing the number, Carl. You're being special again. Yeah. You know me, mate. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, there you go. I found it now. Uh, Archie's saying, has anyone got any tips for keeping your bench tidy? Uh, yeah, clean it. Get some hobby zone, Arch. That's the best thing I can suggest, mate. That's what I did. And uh, as you can see, my bench is still a mess. Yeah, just like mine. No, on a serious note, Arch, you know, that, that for me was my magic moment, was getting of his own, mate. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I know it's, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but once you've got it and you've got everything set up, you sit there and you think to yourself, why didn't I do this before? Yeah. And then, of course, you will want every single draw unit that they make because one isn't enough. That's what I found. I think I've got enough now. <laughs> Are you sure? Well, I haven't really got any choice because I've got nowhere else to put anything. <laughs> I, I've got limited, limited space, so... Maximum limited space or very limited, limited space. Incredibly limited. So limited, it does make me wonder how I actually get anything built sometimes. Right on the desk. I'm saying I had this piece on here just now on my Twitch. Really?
Apologies if you can't see anything. It's just I am a man of a certain age. <laughs> yeah. Oh, definitely a man of a certain age. Apologies. Uh, did you just run over that squeaky floorboard with your chair? Oh, I did. Yeah, you may. Yeah, you may be correct, Dave. Yeah. Oh, a bind. If you have one of those, put the wheels together in a minute. <clears throat> there you go. I only want one on there at the moment just to hold that up and stop that falling down. That's all I want on there. Let's play dropsies. Are you dropping things? Mm. Should we put that over there? Oh, well, I forgot to tell you. I, I very nearly had to go to the hospital one Sunday. Oh, you didn't do a Captain Stabberty? Um, I decided that I would try and make a cup of tea and pick up a knife at the same time. Oh, dear. The knife went in point first on the carpet in the kitchen. Yeah. Half an inch from my little toe. <gasps> oh, did you do ner did you do nervous? <laughs> I don't know about nervous. It was more like more, more <laughs> out of relief than it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know when you look down and you can see the knife has gone into the carpet and it's standing up yeah. vertically. Yeah. And the handle's wobbling from side to side, and you think, oh, you say a few words and you think, that was close. Yeah. So like dad saying that um uh laugh out loud, he says that was loud. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> I thought I'd got away with that. <laughs> Obviously not. <clears throat> Apologies, folks. <laughs> I did try to cover for you. I know you did well, mate. But uh, yeah, yeah, I may have let out a trouser cough. But I got in the way. Oh, really? Can someone give Dave a grade A a dry slap? <laughs> Bless you. Uh, that could actually have hook on it, I reckon. Yeah, it's going to have a look edge. Did, the, did that one have looks on it? I think it did, didn't it? Let's have a quick double check. That's RAF, that's US military. Yeah, it's got their looks on it. Yeah, I'm going to put that one on it and all, because I can. <clears throat> right, 51 and 52 is what I'm going for. Because I want mine to have looks on it, Dave. 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 Yeah. Too many letter Ds. Oh, mate, confuses me, doesn't it? You know me, mate. I get confused. Say my own name. <clears throat> so I have that under there because I want to put a nook under there. Because we can. And all of this will get primed and painted and all. When Sarge is in the chat, <clears throat> Sarge, uh, Chinooks, mate, did they get battered up underneath or anything like that, or were they pristinely maintained and kept in a ship shape, orderly manner? Well, you'll know as well, won't you, Dave? Because you've been in them as well. I don't know how beaten up they got. Um, well, the one that I went in, I wouldn't say it was fresh out of the factory. No. Um, there were signs of wear and tear on the floor, you know, the, the scratch marks and paint chips and so on. Yeah. But under, underneath the belly of the, the aircraft, um, I, w I would have said... Me medium wear and tear about that? Yeah, well, don't forget, because it, it'll have a hook underneath it, so... Um, when everything's getting hooked up and strapped up, it might you might get bangs on the on the underside. So 
especially because, yeah. you know, there'll be some wear and tear around where the hook is. Yeah. Um, definitely, if you're going to have the, the, the ramp down, the ramp will be... Be a bit worn where the soldiers have been sat on the back, because you have a rear gunner sat on the back, don't you? Yeah, and also you'd have um, light equipment coming out of them as well, or stores, yeah. or supplies, or whatever. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I wouldn't have. I'd, they wouldn't be completely filthy and knackered, mm. but they wouldn't exactly be um, fa factory fresh every day. I mean, like, like um, if you've got an old or an oldish car, if you look at the look at the bonnet or around the bonnet area, you got the tiny little nicks and little stone chips and scratches, and that it'd be kind of like that. I would have thought. Yeah, I've just turned your volume up a little bit because Sue was asking in the chat, is it her or is Dave speaking very quietly? So I've just adjusted your audio, Dave. Okay. To see whether or not the increase helps the viewers because apparently you're a little quiet. Well, I'm wondering if I've had a drop in. Yeah, you might have had a drop in Windows again, mate. So have a little looky-loo, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on it now. That's all right, mate. No hurry. He says, as he's trying to do stuff through two times lenses and can't see what he's doing. <laughs> Dave's a man of a certain age. La, 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 la. Microphone. Microphone. Device properties. Ooh, we have had a drop. I'm down to 86. You're down to 86. All right, mate. I'm going to come up to... How's that? Testing, there you testing go. one, two, three. Mary had a little, yeah, no worries, mate. Mary had a little bike. She rode it round the grass each time they wore it round the... <laughs> See how many grown-ups work out the last line. Oh, they all will, mate. <laughs> <laughs> especially, um, especially our lot, because, you know, they are a raucous bunch, aren't they, you know? Oh, I want to put that down. Oh, God, pop my windows up again. Yeah. No, nah, that's a lot better, mate. <clears throat> Seems to be a problem, doesn't it, with Windows and Google at the moment? With, well, it's uh, a bit strange because I'm, I'm in Edge. Yeah, it just seems a bit odd, you know, so... Yeah. Oh, Fred's in his cave and he's got his fire on, so he's going to be all snug. Oh, if you hear snoring in the background, folks... And the sound of a tongue hitting the side of someone's shoulder. That'll be Fred nodding off. Good old Fred. What day is it? It's Wednesday, isn't it? Of course it's Wednesday, because we're live. Doofus. No, uh -oh. it's Thursday, mate. We we discussed that we'd moved the day to... <sighs> really? Oh, it didn't work, did it? <laughs> Sorry. Pardon me. So, yeah. I'm coming shot. And <clears throat> what we're doing. Yeah, I'll keep doing that. It's my worst habit, mate. Yeah. Why is it you've got a whole bench to work with, yet you want to work with the four inches directly in front of you? Yeah, I'm just going to put my keyboard away over there. And then I can wheel myself right up tight to the bench. So. Well, as tight as my belly allows, I might have to get the saw out at some point and cut a big U-shape out the front of my bench so that I can get closer to it. Actually, when I get that new light, when that arrives, I might have a bit more light on my bench because it does look a bit dark. Yeah, I mean, I've got my light just there. Or, or is uh, it me? A question to everyone. Can everyone see what I'm doing, or is my picture looking a bit dark? No, I can see you. Or am I being too fussy? Um, us, fussy. We're always fussy. That's what makes us us. Oh, 
Can't beat a bit of fuss in this, mate. Oh, no. But, yeah, I mean, I find that sometimes that my bench looks really dark. I'll put me light on and then it blinds out me, um, <clears throat> me Android tablet because that sits right below it. But I'm going to put a little bench light that clips on the Android tablet that will then solve that problem. So for the moment, I'll put me bigger on. That sounded wrong. Oh, it sounded very wrong. Yeah. Can't get staff, mate. I'm building wheels, Dave, and it's really fun. <clears throat> there I say it, a bit tiring. <laughs> Have you got to the hub of it yet? I'm thinking of it, mate. I am thinking of it. Are you still spinning on your axis? I'm still spinning on my axis, mate. There you go. It doesn't get any better. No, it doesn't. I'm going to let you win because there'll be worse to come. I'm not that bad. Yes, you are. I'm not that good. <laughs> there you go. Get all them wheels done faster. See? Now I'll come back and put another beam in then without knocking that off. There's method to my madness, you know. I don't know what it is. Well, when you find out, can you let us know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's then done. Uh, beam of goodness, that's what I was looking for. Answer oh, yeah. the postcard. Absolutely. Send all your answers to helgen35 at geocities.com. Poor old Tony, his inbox must be absolutely stonking. <laughs> Good old time. Absolute legend. A legend of the first order. Oh, he is. He is. He's as mad as a box of frogs. But he's he's right on the old front line in the NHS at the moment, and he's not complained. He's just gone to work. He's done his thing. He's gone about his. He's duty with that normal NHS style of sucking it up, rolling their sleeves up and getting on with it. And yeah, just getting on with it. I do. I take my hat off to him. I? It's a thankless job. I don't know how people put up with being at home for so long. <laughs> Yeah, because you've been working all the way through it, Dave, ain't you? An unsung hero yourself, he says, with the most unsubtlest of him. Well, I've just been getting on with it. Like oh, yeah. Absolutely, Dave. Don't be done. Is that a wibble? Hmm? Is that a wibble? No. You sure? Mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with a bit of Wibblekins, mate. Might Not been that bad. Go on. Might have had a bit of a Wibble on Monday. Oh, really? Monday morning Wibble? Well, Stop twitching, yeah. Festa. Well, I came down to make a cup of tea and, and discovered that the milk that was in the fridge was no longer milk. Oh, right, yeah. And Dave could not have his morning tea. <gasps> no. Yeah. How did you survive? So I had to walk down to Tesco's to buy milk. Not good. And I wibbled all the way down to Tesco's. <laughs> But was it a good wibble, or was it one of those under-the-breath? It was one of those semi-under-the-breath when walking past people and everybody was giving me strange looks. <laughs> Might be because you had your slippers on. No, I did manage to put 
to be decent before I went out the front door. But you was all right when you got back, was you? Because you'd had your tea. Yeah. Yeah. I might have also popped into Waitrose and bought a couple of packets of hot dogs. <gasps> oh. But then don't forget, I've got all of the Jaffa cakes. Well, I'll beg to differ because I've got a pack of Jaffa cakes in the kitchen. I've got a mega box of 100. Oh, you tinker. Yeah, the lovely, lovely Sue sent me them because oh, yeah. she's lovely, she is. <sighs> Dad's going, really? Is he, is, he, is he got steam coming out of his ears? Possibly. Or has he gone to sleep? Oh, mate. <laughs> you know, he, he got his Yoda first, mate. So, yeah, what more can we say? Oh, what, was it a blue Yoda? <laughs> no, he's not biting, is he? <laughs> he's not. He's not. I'm sure there's going to be some form of red on it. He's getting too used to me now, so he is. Gonna have to try a different tact. Yeah, I think he's wised up to us all now. Mm. He knows what we're like. We are a bunch of yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> What's been going on in the chat there? Uh, Sky Models is saying, Waitrose, you flash git. <laughs> yeah. uh, Archie was saying to me not to apologise. I'm only human. Yeah, I know, mate. It's just courteous, Arch, isn't it, mate? We're old-fashioned, you know. It's, mm. you know, you let one off on air. You just sort of say, oh, sorry, folks. Because Believe it or not, Archie, there are people out there that get offended over the mildest of things, mate. Well, it's a snowflake brigade, isn't it? Yeah, you would be amazed, Archie. I've had people put comments in my videos just because I may have coughed. Oh, I so thought you would have oh, muted oh. that out. Um, it's a live show. How could I mute it out? I'd already coughed. Yeah. I, you know, you do get, I don't know if you've ever had that, but you do get some bizarre comments. I had one bloke having a moan about my fingernails recently because I have the world's worst habit. I, I pick up my nails and bite bits off of them and get, you know, just keep them really short. And, um, oh, yeah, I got proper told off. It was like, really? I worry about the video content. Just have a moan because I me nails were a bit manky. Well, I, but, I'd, I'd be a bit more concerned if you did a video and you'd had your nails done. Yeah, all buffed up and you had different colours on each finger. Oh yeah, yeah had, a, had a proper go, you know. And I know that it's not a great habit to have, but you know, it's not that I was sitting there with a joint or something like that on the go on camera, was it? You know what I mean? It's. It just surprised me, but, you know, they done their war and peace complaint, and I'm like, well, if you don't like the content, you know, I'm sure you can yeah. go and see someone with a better set of fingernails. But I found it a bit strange, to be honest, but that's the thing with YouTube. You do get some opinions now and then that might not necessarily be what you want to hear, but you just suck it up. Now it's queer as folk. Exactly, mate. You know, I've had some classics in my time. You know, and you sit there and you think, really? Mm. But I've had one before with the squeaky chair. Uh, I had another one that complained because my hands shook. That was a good one. Well, you can't help that. No, your hands keep shaking. It's very distracting. I'm like, well, I can't help that. I've got multiple sclerosis, mate, but hey-ho. So. Uh, 
Cool, we're both sanding there, mate. Sanding, <laughs> sanding in stereo. <laughs> Synchronized sanding. I oh, know. See, you're a bad influence. See, you've got me sanding now. <laughs> I know I rubbed people up the wrong way. Don't worry about it, mate. That's right, I'm going to be here all night until next Christmas. <laughs> But don't forget, folks, this is a Ravel kit, so there is going to be some form of sanding required. There is going to be a bit of fat ettling. Yeah, oh, that's another hard drive spinning up there. What's going on there? Oh, yeah. Because it's back in itself. Look at that. Really good. Yeah. But other than that, saying that, Dave, it hasn't gone. It hasn't gone together that bad, has it? No, no. he's been all right so far. Um, yeah. He's been at it again. Who? Mike. Is he mess? Is he misbehaving again? Yeah. No, not me, Sue. Don't need one with all the love shown to me. <laughs> oh, bless him. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Someone sling the bucket around. <laughs> <laughs> Oh bless him! Thing is, though, we we can't um, we can't pick on him because I'll, I'll get told off by Sue otherwise. See, but then I've got a feeling that I might be getting brownie points. Oh yeah. So yeah, I've got a feeling. I'm not hundred percent sure, uh, but I may uh, have a feeling that I might be getting some. So how how how, how do we work this out? Yeah, uh, Paul's in. Paul D. Tomazo. Oh, hello, Paul. Let's clean me sanders. Hmm. Well, what's Fox saying there? Uh, unless someone has their own channel and streams, creates content and knows how it works. Well, their in-depth production advice is worthless. Yeah, it's, it, it's funny. It, it was Fox that got me into the, you know, don't let it get to your mentality because... As we all know, it, it can get to you, can't it? Um, yeah, I've, I've heard of... Oh, see you later, Fred. See you later, Fred. Thank you for popping in, mate. Oh, he's off to do his M4H, isn't he? Yes. Enjoy. But yeah, Fox was saying about the um, in, their in-depth knowledge is worthless. I can remember, you know, he used to say to me about it. <clears throat> you do have to develop a very thick skin at the end of the day. <clears throat> yeah, I've had a couple of comments left, and it's like, really? <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> yeah, I had to turn mine all into pre-approval because, as you know, you know, there was a couple of people that were, how can we say, mm. been silly. And when you know that there's people with kids that watch your shows and, and look at your videos... Them sort of comments didn't help, did they? And yeah, so I had to filter everything in the end. It's a shame, but hey ho. But then you get the other side of the coin, then with people saying, Why is it I post a comment and it needs your approval? Have I upset you? No, mm. you haven't, but because of a couple of mindless idiots, that I've had to do that. It's not as bad as it once was, but it's yeah, still there. Oh, that's bad. If I put my windows down, I can see what I'm doing. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a strange one, really, because I've, you know, I've been on YouTube channels and, and started watching something, and I'm like, mm, that's not really floating me boat, but... I still give it a thumbs up before I come off and, and that, but I wouldn't dream of putting, you know, a very sort of nasty comment or anything. I, I just couldn't do it. I don't think I've left anyone nasty comment. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I don't, once you start creating your own content, I don't think you leave nasty comments because you don't want anyone to do the same to you. Yeah, it, <clears throat> it is one of them, isn't it? Does anyone else have that type of problem? You know, I mean, 
couple of people have been in touch with me because they're currently being trolled. I'm not going to say who they are, but, you know, I've asked an opinion about it. And it's like, well, just do what I did and turn everything off for a bit. And yeah. um, and don't get drawn into a, a contest with them of trying to comment back and, and put the onus on them because you'll end up with a game of comment tennis that then is going to make you look rather foolish. So just ignore yeah. it. Move on. Don't even acknowledge it. Because if you deprive an oxygen thief of on oxygen, they will move on. <clears throat> I'm surprised how many wheels it had on it. That may sound really bizarre, but there's quite a few wheels on these things, isn't there? Mm -hmm. I suppose it would have to be, because it's got to, got to spread quite a load, isn't it? Fair old weight on it. Yeah. It's been quiet today at the base. It's busy overnight, though. I'm sure. Was it Monday? Monday afternoon, I'm sure I heard a couple flying around my area. Yeah. Albeit I'm not that far away from you, really, so. Yeah. Well, Tanya's in. Hello, Tanya. You right, darling? I hope everything's Hello, okay. Uh, Vampy's in. Uh, Fox is saying to Muse, all creators should accept all criticism and good humour and they should also be able to filter it for relevance. Absolutely agree. Yeah, it's... it's yeah, it's, Dare I say it, though, you know, we bring it on ourselves a lot because you're putting stuff up there, so you're going to be open to some form of critique, aren't you? But the ones that make me laugh are the ones that really get rivet countery with you. And then you go to their channel and there's nothing on there. Oh, no. And you sit there and think, well, let me look at some of your content then to see how good your builds are. Oh, you don't have none. Then. They're the ones that make me giggle. Is it the modern thing? Because people know they're at the end of a keyboard. Uh, the, the, the keyboard warrior. Because we used to get it in the business that I was in, where you would get someone put a really narky email. So you would reply to them, oh, sorry to hear that, blah de blah de blah de blah and you would invite them to come in to discuss it. And the oh. amount of people that would politely decline, it's like, yeah, because you're not at the end of your keyboard, are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm breaking a rule here. Oh, are you going for some really good breaking of rules? Yeah, I'm not recording anything. Oh, you're not. Oh, no, he, says, he says looking at his phone. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought about it. You plum. Oh, my fucking... Oh. All those software updates on iPhones get right on your bell end, and not they? Yeah, there you go. There you go, it's recording again. Yeah, it's... My, my one's getting bugged at the moment because there's a new software update, isn't there? And it's... It flashes up the install thing, but it knocks everything in the background out. So I need to adjust that video, the one I film on, to stop doing it. But I'll do that um, after the show. Now that I'm, we're halfway through the show, I'll, I'll... <laughs> yeah, you might want to start recording now, Dave. I've got gonna, a fair old bit of footage anyway. I was going to say, well, we're going to be on for about another half hour. Is it? Well, it's half hour footage, isn't it? So. Half hour footage is half hour footage. Yeah, it's one of those. I just, like I say, I mean, out of all the stuff I've recorded, <laughs> I've probably only got about 28 minutes of it left because I've butchered everything else out. So it's what we do, isn't it? We record and then we chop most of it out and it goes on the cutting room floor. So, right, yeah. Oh, really? All right, I've got one out of that side to do now, so let's bring that oh, over God. there and have a little looky loo. It's going to have a swig of tea. By red, you will become organised. That sounds scary. Yeah, right. Uh, 
Uh, what have we got? Keep calm and sell through fight again. Absolutely, mate. Graham says it sounds like a joiner's workshop with a sanding. Yeah, apologies, Graham, if the sanding was irritating you, mate. It is a rebel kit, and we were smoothing bits out, buddy. Oh, well, I think I'm going to be on this for quite some time. I try my best not to sand on the air, but sometimes you just need to. Dum, 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 dum. I've got the tune for Captain Scarlet in my head yet again, Dave. It's there. I'm going to have to watch another episode later. Oh, no. I've, oh, I've been watching um, UFO. He says, oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that the one with the birds with the purple hair? Yeah, I, I've never, never worked that out. Why, 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 why would you put a purple wig on? Because it made it look futuristic, Dave. That's what I think. I've never worked that one out. Uh. Yeah, I think that's what it was, is because it made it look all futuristic, mate. I was too busy looking at them tin foil suits that they wore. They were a bit... A bit risque for a kid's show, wouldn't they, mate? Um, yes. But we didn't mind. Mind you, depending on who you was looking at at the time, or is that now when I'm an adult and I'm watching it again? Yeah. <laughs> it is funny, though, isn't it? Because iconic, how can we say, images that you remember as a kid, you then re-see when you're an adult and you think, what on earth? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then you think, oh, no. What was I thinking? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mind you, except for Sally James, of course, because... She's, what, 70-something now? But she still looks absolutely stunning. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know what her secret is. I don't think... I'm, I'm right in saying she's very sort of anti-cosmetic surgery or anything like that. So she's... I don't think she's been under the knife. No, I don't think she has. You know, I could be wrong, but... Oh, sounds so wrong, doesn't it, when you think... Yeah. She's probably a grandma, but... <laughs> Sally's My Sally indeed. James. Not that there's anything wrong with being a grandma. There's some very fit and attractive grandmas out there. That sounded wrong as well. Glue the piece to the model helicopter and be quiet, Fester. Colin, can I give you a bit of advice? Yeah, it was my quiet voice loud. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll just say, can you stop while you're in front because you're going downhill rapidly? <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Fliss, yeah. The Fliss Kendalls and... Oh, yeah. You know what I mean. It's, yeah. Uh, what was her name? Helen Mirren as well. She had that sort of sophisticated thing about them, you know, and... Yeah. Another one was, do you remember Jill Gascoigne out of The Gentle Touch? Oh, yes. Her eyes, Dave. The colour of her eyes was en enticing, wasn't it? It was enchanting. It really was. Don't know why, but she had these very piercing coloured eyes, and it was like, yeah. We all had that picture of the tennis girl on our wall when Debbie Harry, didn't we? So who didn't? That's the point. That's the question. Yeah. And the Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah, I had the white Lamborghini Countach, the tennis lady, Debbie Harry, and Kate Bush. Oh, Kate Bush. Kate Bush. Swing, swing. Oh, Kate Bush. 
Look at the post it. Look at the post it. You can do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, again, how I, I want, she's got to be getting on now. Well, she did that. She did that one-off concert a little while ago, didn't she? Again, still a great performer. Yeah, because apparently the tickets went on sale, and then they was not on sale. Yeah, sold out straight away, didn't she? On the grounds that within minutes, she'd sold out. I'm right in thinking, though, and I, that she hadn't performed for many, many years. So I think it was the first time she'd been on stage for the best part of 20 years. Yeah. And you had Annie Lennox as well with her very haunting voice, wasn't it, oh, yeah. of Eurythmics? And she she also came out of the tourists. Yeah, I only want to be with you, wouldn't it? That yeah. record, yeah, nineteen seventy eight or seventy nine, wouldn't it? Mm, something like that, yeah. Yeah, ding dong. I'm getting pinged everywhere. This this one wants to update as well now. Really, leave me alone. Oh, is it update city at your place? Is it? Yeah, I've got loads of things that need updating. I'll do I'll do all of that once the show ends. Two phones and a watch that need updating, and I've got a Windows update as well sat in the background. No. But that's only uh, the virus definitions on that one, so it's nothing major. But I I may have forgot to turn it off because I normally, I normally have them turned off during the week, and then I switch it on for a Friday so that everything bounces through then, you know, so... Uh, I forgot to do that because I'm forgetful, useless, and yeah. There it is, right in front of me. I suppose, really, we're getting to that point where we need to start digging out fire engine boxes, don't we, mate? I was going to say, when are we going to do the... Um... Well, we was thinking of doing a one-off show, wasn't it, where we was going to launch. But we kind of haven't really had a good opportunity to sit and chat where we want to go with it yet, have we? And uh, I honestly don't know, mate. You know, do we do it as a big New Year entry thing? I don't know, you know. Because um, we're probably going to have a couple of shows on this still to well, do. Actually, what? Well, well, here's an idea. Go for it. As we're doing the um, Big Ben clocks on New Year's Eve. Yeah. How about we do a, this is what we're going to be doing as the next big background build, i.e. the fire, fire engine. engine. Yeah. And, yeah. And then that will kick it off and then that can be sat in the background for the new year. Yeah. Makes sense, doesn't it, mate? Yep, works for me, mate. Thank you, Dougie. Uh, that's, that's all RAF. That's all RAF. Where's the US Army one? Yeah, okay, happy. Yeah, go with that. Uh, really small bits can go on once we go off air because they're so tiny that I won't be able to do them on the bench because I'm blind, useless, and won't see them. They're even smaller than the small bits that I've put on there, but and this is going to get one hell of a, a coat of primer again because I've kind of got glue fingerprints on it, and oh, it's yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, I've been a bit twitchy, so nothing mad, mad or bad. But do I put the aerials on yet? Or do I put them on after as well? I think because so I've got sixty-eight that goes on there. Dum 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 dum. See, it's in my head. 
Uh, where is it? He says, looking for number 68. It's after number 67. Uh, yeah, but these sprues, as you well know, no. <laughs> are not in numerical order. Thanks for the... Yeah, thanks for the lesson. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, oh, yeah. My um, model works as giving you a bit of a telling off. Blind oh. and useless. Oi, Colin, none of that. No, that's just me berating myself, mate. It's something I do uh, when I'm having a, uh, how can we say, a bit of a cruddy day as I tell myself off to keep myself, <clears throat> you know. Dum 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 dum. Oh, you pilchard. Is that that's the right? It says it's that one, but that looks absolutely naff, all like what they're saying. Skip on. Is it because I'm not looking at the correct sprue, perhaps? He has a feeling. Uh-oh. Is uh, that a good feeling or a bad feeling? Yeah, there you go. I knew it was a uh, thing. Yeah, I was... Um, <laughs> I was holding the wrong sprue, Dave. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> I'm looking at it going, that looks absolutely nothing like the picture. It does now because I've got the correct sprue in the end, Dave. <laughs> C68, not A68. Remember that number because you may do the same. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Oh, Pilchard. Yeah, Professor Pilchard at your service, folks. Uh, and that sits right in the corner there. All right. Come on, you can do this. Really? There you go. Six I've got years. to love Andy. He does tell me off, though, doesn't he? Yeah. Six years later, I might have got this bit done. Oh, you're having a wibble now. Good man. Mm, I went any faster. I've melted the plastic. Yeah, go on, Andy. Tell Dave off now. Dave's having a wibble. Go on. Go on. <laughs> what I would say, Dave, is is it obvious which bits I may have stuck on today, do you think? <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh, dear. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to dig out Harley later and give her a last, hopefully a last little bit of finagling. And then uh, start wrapping her up in her protective bubble. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hang on. They'll be getting shipped. Off to their new home. James will be tentatively excited when he gets a large parcel that arrives at James Towers. Uh, yeah, it's been a strange year, isn't it? I think there's going to be an awful lot of people that will be glad to see the back of 2020 for one yeah. reason or another. Yeah. Dare I say it, though, I think it has brought a lot of people closer. The majority, I, anyway. I, don't I think say. it's given the human race the uh, jab in the ribs that it needed. Uh, yeah, a bit of a wake-up call. We're not as invincible as we thought we were. We are not all Captain Scarlet. No. Is that bit for? Because I've been looking at that for ages, and I've not seen where it goes yet. Ain't going to be one of them things that I should have put on ages ago. <laughs> oh, no.
No, it's all right. I've just found it. It's on the next page. <laughs> I'm a bit fortunate, Ed. Yeah, that was, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it's all part of the big sticky outy stuff that's on the front of the US one. Looks like it's some kind of thing. Right, okay, I'm going to stick that together and get that slapped on so that I don't forget it. Yeah, it's Ed in the background. Slip it on. Have you some of that? Actually, David, that is not a million miles away. Ah, uh, Graham's saying in the new year he's going to get a 35th Chinook diorama with a tribute to Bravo 20 Patrol, Dave. Ooh. Yeah, sounds interesting. It's right up your street, that one, isn't it? Yeah, I will only say if he's doing a 135th Chinook diorama, have plenty of space because she's a big old girl in that in that scale. I've got one upstairs that I'm too scared to build now because I ain't got any Yeah, you were saying she's um very large, isn't she? She's a curvaceous lady. She's uh, very large, very curvy, and very big. Because at one point I was I was being very brave and said, "Oh, I'm going to do a one thirty fifth, you know, I'm going to do it as Bravo uh, Bravo November, and I'm going to do it as mm. a cabin back for Afghanistan, and I'm going to have all the figures in it." And then I started looking at it and thought, "Yeah, do you realise how much space this is going to take up?" Yeah, and the house prices in your area had gone up, so the four bedroom mansion that you needed to put it in was, yeah, a bit expensive, yeah. wasn't it, Dave? That far out of my reach, I, I, I ran away like a little girl. Yeah. Quano says, scratch his head. Uh, what is Fox going to order his dinner to do? <laughs> Not sure, mate. Oh, no idea. You never know with Fox. No, no, no. He's a man of acute eccentricity, is our Fox. And we wouldn't have him any other way, would we? I think oddball is an understatement. Yeah. In the kindest possible way. Yeah, he's that nutty professor, isn't he? Wilf, Wilf Lunn, was it, that used to be on Vision On, was it? Yes. You know, the one who used to be in the white coat in the background with all the cog sprockets going, and hello and welcome to my little cave. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's our fox. That's how he is. A slightly eccentric British person. But we wouldn't have any other way. Maybe a bit quieter, but we wouldn't have him any other way. <laughs> mm, no. Unfortunately, his, his volume control got super glued, I think. Yeah. Bless him. Have Where he's got that? super glued, I've no idea, and I really don't want to find out either. <laughs> Fox knows I have a cute what now. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. Say Captain Scarlet again. Captain Scarlet and the Mr. Ross. Yeah, you've got to drill the two holes out cold, didn't you? Um, it's all right. I can do this, Dave. I can do this. I knew there was something I meant to have done to the side of this. La, da, da, da. All right, let's try and get the drill bit out without it going on the floor. That's normally what happens. Has that got a sharp end on it or is that a blunt end? Oh, I'll get the coat. Was that, that a whip? Might have been. <laughs> 
Go on, then. Go on, then. Not wrong with Wibble. Me, Wibble? Never. Don't dream of it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to think that Wibble we was having the other day, didn't it? We both just looked at each other and burst out laughing in the end, didn't we? Uh, I can't remember what that was about now, but... Andy would have been proud of us for that one, mate. Was a good wibble. Was it something to do with Brexit or? Might well have been, mate. Brexit, Belgians. I think it was Brexit, wasn't it? Something had been said on the telly, wasn't it? About we was expect it was fish. Fish, that was it, wasn't it? Fishing. Yes. Uh, we, we had a bit of a rant, didn't we, over the fact that it's our fish and it's we're not going to have people coming over and stealing our fish. And Oh, really? It was brilliant, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. It was a, it was a hook, line and sinker. Yeah, <laughs> and it was. It was. I don't know even why we bothered wibbling about it because it's not as if it's a massively, you know... Uh, like it's going to affect us. Yeah, but it kind of... Yeah, we went into a bit of a wibble over it, and in the end, just burst out laughing, didn't we? Because yeah. Yeah. like it's going to make a difference to us. It's just going to be another reason that the prices get doubled in it in this country because mm. we do live in rip-off Britain, don't we? Yep. Unfortunately, how small have rich teas got? I don't know, I've not had them for a while, but I have noticed that chocolate obnobs are getting smaller. And Jaffa cakes. We well, used to get 12 in a box, now you only get 10. Yeah. The Toblerone, they've made the mountains further apart. Honestly, see, it's things like this that get me and you going, isn't it? Well, wasn't, wasn't that the EU saying that it had to be spaced out a bit more? I honestly don't know. We had the bent bananas one. Do you remember that one? Yeah, because the EU wanted to straighten the bananas out. Like, really? Yeah, you know, well, no, the bananas too bent. Cornish pasties had to be from Cornwall, didn't they? Uh, cheddar cheese, wasn't it? Had to be uh, from cheddar. Yeah, the double Gloucester, wasn't it, that one? Yeah. We've had some bizarre ones over the years, haven't we? There you go. I don't think that notices that that's only just gone on there. It's stealthily concealed. I'm quite impressed with this variant, actually. It has got quite some interesting little bits. Uh, has that got a spiky bit on it? Yeah, it has. See, so that goes on the other side. That's the US Army one. Have you some of that? We are getting there. And then there's their holes for that as well, then. You know, I'm doing all this work and it's going to get covered in when I put some filler in it. Yeah, I was a bit like that with the inside and that, you know, because I've got to spray the inside yet. That's why I've not put nothing inside it. And, uh, yeah, but then I'm going to have me ramp open. But the actual helicopter is going to be hanging from the ceiling, so I'm not going to be able to see in there. But... Oh, no, it's there. Well, yeah, and you'll know if it's been done or not. Yeah, and if it ain't been done, I'm going to be saying, oh, don't walk over there and look in the back of that, because I didn't do that, so. Yeah, so we've got a bit of that. So we've got all of that to go on, so 88 and 89. Let's have a look, looky low. So it's them bits there. Mm. So I reckon if I put the mounts on, I won't then have to worry too much. I thought it was getting warm in here. It's because I never opened my window. It's going to open my window because I'm getting a bit 
EBGB because I'm off. So. Oh, I'm not. Well, I kind of agree with what Fox is saying. That the 1970s in Britain was the best place to be under 10 years old. I'm going to say over 10 as well because well, it depends on which part of the 70s you're talking about. If you're talking the very early 70s, then I was under 10. But yeah. Just clean the uh, mission. Get over there. Spider pig. Oh, that's not. That's not good for my own model works. He's just, had, work. he's just had the boss on the blower saying, can he work the weekend? But he's on holiday. Absolutely. Mind you, if you're going to get some overtime for it, mate. Fox is saying, uh, sale modern news, secondary school was just the same to be honest, but the 80s bought sausages and steak sandwiches to the mix. Best thing about secondary school when that was school dinners. Oh, oh I used to love school dinners. School Bang. Yeah, go on. Bangers and mash. Yeah. You used to get a big steak pie a day with the pastry and you if you was on the dinner ladies good books, you got a corner. Oh yeah. And it was the same with rhubarb and rhubarb crumble. If, if you were being good and the dinner ladies and you were done as you're told, you, you would get the corner piece with the custard with a bit of custard skin. <gasps> oh. Never really been into custard skin. Oh, God, I want custard milk. I used to love dipping tart. I don't know what, what, it, what it was, but... Yeah. Oh, mate, school dinners. Oh, my mum was a, yeah, my mum was a cook at the school. I might have to say to her, can you cook me one of those school dinner apple crumbles? Is there not places that you can go now to have, you know, that do that sort of thing? There was a restaurant in London, wasn't there, that did the school-style dinners from the 70s. I don't know whether it's still going Shepherd's pie. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm craving school dinners now, though. Oh. And the thing is, it's, it is surprising what you remember, isn't it? Sausages and cheese. I'll bring my microphone back round. Uh, Scott, uh, Scott Fox is saying, by the way, any of you in the UK are self-employed. The next uh, size scheme thing can now be claimed if you have done the last two. Oh, right. Of course, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Mayhem says he's getting 200 quid in overtime for the weekend. <gasps> All stash, yeah. stash replenishment, mate. Oh, yeah. And this is the perfect thing, though, um, Andy. You know, you, you're having to work at the weekend, which is a bind, but your reward is you can buy something for the stash to make it worth your while. <gasps> what you're getting? What you're getting? Tell me. What, what you think you're getting? Yeah. I want to know all of the details, all of them. Mm -hmm. Details in triplicate. I think my next stash purchase is going to be that one that me and V are thinking of, Dave, you know? Oh, yes. Yes, I know the one you're thinking of. Yeah, um, that'll be my next uh, stash edition. Well, when, when I was thinking about using some of that bonus money, I did think about buying a particular boat, but then I thought... Mm, I'd rather have me light than 
that's both at the moment. Yeah. That's yeah. the distinctive sound of Captain Sandy there, mate. Yeah. That was a good sound, Dave. That sounded very productive. Well, I'm, I'm at that now final bit now where he's, he's just trying to find the right bit to take off and it'll all fit in place. Oh. It's only taken two hours to fit this part. <laughs> I didn't like to say. Oh, I said I wasn't. I did, I did tell you I wasn't very fast at building. Don't worry about it. You can build off air, mate, to catch up. There's no pressure. You know what I'm like. I build in this way because I might not be able to glue two things together tomorrow. So if I'm having a build, even though I'm a bit twitchy today, I will still just build so that it's there in sub-assemblies. and. Mm. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to accept that. That that will do. Each. There you go. Have a bit of that. Ah, uh, God, is that the time already? Quano man say now Colin's craving school dinners. I'm having a hard time not imagining him dressed as Jimmy Cranky. <laughs> I'm trying to chat up the local dinner ladies. My brain is so bad and wrong sometimes. No, Quano, you're not wrong at all, mate. Oh no. You know, when I was at uh, junior school, yeah, proper Jimmy Cranky, but uh, yeah, we had a we had a a slightly younger dinner lady when I was at secondary school and yeah, I tried my best schoolboy chat up patter and it got me nowhere, but oh, it was a lot nowhere, did it? <laughs> but oh yeah, and we had this um sports teacher, Dave, and she was absolutely stunning. And uh all of us school schoolboys had the crush on her, you know, and it was like <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> the woman never had to carry anything ever. No, I, we, we had a geography teacher like that as well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. All uh, right, I've stopped recording now. I'm going to move my camera over because I'm just going to have a little catch up on the chat. Sue's just popping off. She's going to see us later. Yeah, we're coming off air shortly, Sue, anyway, love, because it's nearly half past six already. Um, Is it? Yeah. Um. Ross is saying he's claimed his for self-employment and he's ordered a DS9 station with lighting kit. Oh, Ooh. is there a model of that? Because I am on episode five of DS9 at the moment. I'm just getting into it. But I was thinking what a good kit that would look in the old hanging from the ceiling department. Uh, can you ping us a link at some time, Ross, to that, mate? PM me it, mate, because I've... Might be, might be interested in doing one of them. It's quirky, Dave, and it's different. Yeah. You know, I probably won't say that when I see the price. I'll be going, oh, okay. <laughs> I'll yeah. make one out of an Ula root and a couple of Rice Krispie boxes. <laughs> yeah. That's impressive. Yeah, I'll have to have a look out for something like that. Uh, what are we going there? Fox is saying, I fondly remember our dinner lady, uh, Mrs. Jolly, shouting, frozen jubblies, boys, get your frozen jubblies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, dear. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, like you say, you had your school mashed potato was in a scoop. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it was a nice school scoop. Do you remember pink custard at school? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Blamange. Oh, Samalina and macaroni. Oh. oh, and you'd get the school rice pudding, Dave. Oh. Yeah, school rice pudding, and you used to get your ruler out and put a bit on the end and flick it. <laughs> what we used to do is, you know, the little butters that you got with the foils. Yes, we used to unwrap them, but make the foil looking like a skateboard with the butter on top of it, and we'd have our school tires like a little hammock. And we're on the ceiling, see? So they would stick. And, of course, by the time we went and sat down, the teachers would be then huddling there, supervising the kids. And you'd see all these butters start <laughs> falling down. 
Yeah. Who's done this? They'd go, and there'd be like this line of butters all along the ceiling. I used to love doing that. You could get a good bit of float, couldn't you, on a, a bit of rice pudding with skin on it on the back of the spoon. Do you remember doing that? The old donk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'd always get one of the fifth years shout out, food fight. And it would just erupt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether that's a thing now. Oh, no, I think so. Did you ever, Rob, did you ever have the inter-school fights, you know, the tear-ups, to see which school was the toughest? Frequently. Yeah, we used to have that, you know, it'd be this school versus that school, and there'd be an almighty punch-up, which was basically a load of 14-year-old boys just slapping each other, but, yeah. Well, we always knew something was up because they used to let us out of a different exit. Yeah, we um, we had an inter-school sports match, a rugby game. I won't name the school because people were prosecuted over it. Oh. And, um, oh, okay. yeah, their minibus may have been reduced to component parts, mate. Ah. But it all started over a rugby tackle that was a bit neck eye, and that was it. It just erupted and punch ups ensued. So the the teachers from the opposing school all went and locked themselves in this minibus. Didn't care about the pupils. Left them out on the rugby field getting a good shoeing. So um, allegedly, because well, I wasn't there, of course, um, the minibus was spotted with teachers in it, and it was opened. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, several of the the people involved got done. So yeah, it made our local rag as well. It was like, yeah. Fester's saying, "Is that one of those sanding mats uh, from Kenneth?" I used mine incorrectly, but uh, by actually sanding on it. No, it's not from Kenneth, mate. I got this um, quite a while back on. I think it was AliExpress, mate. But, yeah, it's a sanding stick, Matt. You basically, when your sanding sticks get full up with all the gruff, you just give them a little go over on the mat, and they end up crispy clean. I just wipe mine over me trouser leg. Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I've got a special mat because, yeah, and they are. They're a godsend. Um, yeah. But, no, no, it's not from not from Kenneth, mate. I think that was the princely sum of about six pound on AliExpress. It wasn't expensive, but it's a godsend. Oh, last of the big spenders then. Uh, yeah, no wrong with that. Uh, Scaly models, by the way, my local KFC does mash for deliveries again. Woohoo! Ooh. Yeah, I, I, I could wind Fox up and say I might get a wimpy takeout on the delivery the weekend, mate. <laughs> no, I still have Burger King. Yeah, Muse is going, all wantons. Uh, Paul did tomatoes off. Uh, hugs all around. Yeah, no worries, Paul. We're going to be coming off air now anyway, because as far as I know, I think Chris is on shortly. So, um, yeah, we, we want to be off in time for that, because we do have that gentleman's agreement. Uh Andy's saying he's had a call from his boss. He's saying November was a bad month. It means I'm going to have a bit more money to see him through to January because uh, it's a long month before he gets Ooh. paid. Absolutely, mate. Yes. Uh, it's the space station. Yeah, that'd be an interesting one. That. I like that idea. Uh, Stuart Bremner saying good evening. Hello, Stuart. Hello, mate. Hope you're all right. Literally, we're... Um, Imminently about to go off air, buddy. But hello anyway. Thanks for coming in. Osric's asking, is Ted on later? I think he is. I think he might be doing a show tonight. Um, have a quick looky-loo on his channel just to see if there's a link on there with an upcoming show, mate. But I think he might be doing one. And Jackie's going to catch up with us later. No worries. So I think, Dave, we've had a bit of a a day there i've got a few bits i've stuck on that you might notice <laughs> well i haven't really got much to show I've, I've, I've painted a couple of ends black yeah and i have fettled a 
planking plate to go in the end of the ramp. Oh, good man. Good man. I've got all my hooks on the other bit. Oh. And done all my wheels and bits and pieces. So, yeah. Quite impressed, mate. Ooh. ECI, the host, saying bye to all now. Have a great evening to, in the UK. Good afternoon to those in the colonies. Have a good insert, appropriate time of day to all others. <laughs> I like the thinking. And um, Foxy's saying, Dave, the 1980s are calling you. I do. Well, right. Yeah. And Foxy's saying, yeah, Chris is at seven and Ted is later on tonight. So there yeah. you go, yeah. folks. So keep tuned in on the other channels and uh, do your bit for those guys. Show them your love and support. It means a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be back on Sunday for the Sunday brunch. So we look forward to doing that because the Sunday brunch is all about you folks that kindly tune in and watch our inane drivel. Uh, it's our way of featuring your work and your channels and what you do because you know we like to give something back, don't we, Dave? Definitely. Yes. So looking forward to seeing all your wonderful pictures. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. So until Sunday, peeps, thanks for tuning in and keeping us two idiots company this afternoon. We love every minute of it. And thank you also to Dad, who's been uh, modding the chat there in the background. Much appreciated, chat, And uh, lovely to see Good you bye. back with us all. And yeah, big hugs and everything. Yeah. And we'll see you Sunday. Yeah. So take care. Bye-bye for now. Stay well.